Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Gamer Pickups. This is actually the second time I've recorded this. The first time, I don't know what's been going on, but it, re I, it records okay, but when I upload it, it goes like super speed. So, so I deleted it and I decided to re-record it with a different program this time and see if that works. So, anyway, I got my college refund came in and all kind of stuff so I, I splurged a little bit i'm saving a bunch of it up but i splurged a little bit and got a bunch of games and this is a big haul that's why i'm doing another one so fast i got like nine nes games and a few other stuff and including a new system so well we'll start with the nine nes games and the first one is 720 degrees uh, it's a skateboarding game, and it's named after the skateboard trick of the same name, 720 degrees, which is two full circles, r flips, because, you know, a circle's 360, so it's two full circles, 720 degrees, and it's based around doing all kinds of tricks and stuff on that game, and I haven't really played much on it yet, but it looks pretty fun, and I'm going to hook up my NES here, here in the next couple of days, and, you know, play through some of these games and stuff like that, so, you know, mainly to see if they work and all that kind of stuff, so. The next one is Anticipation. Anticipation, think, is a board game, think Trivial Pursuit meets Win, Lose, and Draw. You go on different bo boards, which has the, uh, different, uh, we go around the board with uh, different colors, and it has uh, different colors, and you, uh, and when you get to a certain color, it's like a certain thing, and it draws out a picture, and you have to guess what the picture is, and if you get, guess it, you uh, get despair and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's just a little quirky little board game. Thank, you know, like I said, thank Trivial Pursuit meets one of these and draw. Next one, A Boy and His Blob, Trouble and Blobolonia. I like this game. It's a puzzle game. You're a boy who has a blob. You feed it jelly beans, and the jelly beans give it different effects, like make it into an umbrella, or make it to a little hole, or a ladder, or a jack, or something like that. And different jelly beans give it different effects. And it's a fun little game. It, it can be, it can get a little difficult, but that's what the point of a puzzle game is. So, <laughs> next one. The angry video game nerd doesn't like it. He did a video on it, but you know, I didn't have it in my collection. It was cheap, so I was like, screw it, let's get it, and all that kind of stuff. Festus Quest. Yeah, I got Festus Quest. And I, I didn't have it in my collection. I mean, I mean, it was only $4, so I mean, I'm not worried about it. I mean, if I like it, I like it. If I don't, I mean, I, at least I still got it in my collection, so. <laughs> If you want to know more about it, watch the Angry Video Game Nerd episode. Next one is one of the original 16 black box games. One of the original 16 games that got released on the NES or a couple of years. This is part of the uh, sports series of it. And it's Rad Racer. I think Rad Racer is one of the couple of games on the NES too that can that uses the 3D glasses along with like 3D World Runner and stuff like that. But I think you can use the 3D glasses for it too. But it's a racing game. You go race, dodge, change, get to the finish. And that's all you do. Mm -hmm. Next one, I never heard of. I never really heard of it before. But I was looking on a website where they sell retro video games and stuff like that, and uh, it was really really cheap. And he's like, I don't have it in my collection. It looked interesting. It looked like a space shooter kind of style, like Gradius or R type or Life Force or something like that. And it looked really interesting. It had a little bit of a twist to it, but it's called a uh, Solar Jetman. Again, like I said I never heard of it before, but it looked really interesting. So, give me a second. I had a bag. My dog's an idiot sometimes. But Solar Jetman. I mean, I never really heard of it before, but I, mean, I like the Gradius and R type and all kind of stuff, so I, I picked it up. I didn't have it in my collection either, so. Next one Skate or Die. 
I played this game a lot, a lot when I was a kid, and it's another skateboarding game, but it's like one of the more popular skateboarding games, excuse me a second, <coughs> on the NES, excuse me, and uh, I played it a lot, it's a small game, it only has like five little mini game, skate mini games, but it's fun for what it is, I eventually want to get skater that too, next one, is another angry video game episode, but I played this game actually a bit when I was a kid, and it's not that hard to land the plane. Top Gun. It's not that hard to land a plane. But, uh, I mean, I've landed it. It's like I've beaten this game. But, I mean, for what it's worth, it's not that terrible of a game. I mean, it's not a good game, but it's not terrible. I mean, if you want to know more about it, watch Angry Video Game Nerd episode. But, it's okay game. And the last one on my NES part is, which I didn't believe. I used to have a copy of this game. But then I lost a lot of my NES stuff, but now I'm starting to get it all back, all kind of stuff. And people who know me and watch my LP and all kind of stuff know this is my favorite game of all time. Had it for the Super Nintendo, for Super Mario All-Stars, but now I got the original NES copy of it again. Super Mario Bros. 3. Yep. Finally got me an actual copy of Super Mario Bros. 3 again. So yay. Or me. So yay. You know, this is my favorite game of all time. All right, now we got three PS4 games. I'm gonna grab those. And the first one, I've been waiting for this game for a while, and it finally came out a couple days ago. That's the reason why I know it's myself, but I got it, and I'm happy with it. I played the beta version; it looked, it was really fun. It's, but uh, I got the original two games for the PSP. And now I have it. the third one for the PS4, which was originally an arcade game, but the City of Final Fantasy NT, which is a Final Fantasy fighting game. But uh, the difference is, though, that uh, there's a lot more in this one, but also compared to the PSP games where it's one-on-one -on -one battles, these are three-on-three -three battles, and basically first one to three knockouts wins. Doesn't have much of a story mode, but... But what is what but all the battles and stuff that was make this game fun. And then we have the only reason why I got this game is because one of my coworkers kept asking me to play online with them and play online with them and play online with them. I was like, you know what? I might as well get it. I'm not a huge fan of I'm not a huge, huge fan of the series, but I like the series. I I've played through a few of them and all that kind of stuff, but Grand Theft Auto five. Yeah, he keeps wanting me to play online with him, so, I mean, I picked up a copy of GTA 5, so now I actually have it, and stuff like that, so, it's Grand Theft Auto, but I haven't really started on the fifth one yet, so, but I've played through, like, the original three, Vice City and San Andreas, I played a little bit of four in the Liberty City stories, but I haven't played five yet, and the last PS4 game I got was, I've been hearing a lot about it, I've never played any games in the series, but, I keep hearing about it and keep how good, how good it is. People keep telling me to pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You know what? I was like, you know what? I'll go ahead and pick it up. It was on sale anyway. And with my pro card, I got it for even cheaper and all that kind of stuff. But um, I'm going to be checking it out here hopefully one day soon. It, uh, I got a lot of games to play. But, I mean, I'm going to pick it up one day. But Persona 5. I keep hearing a lot about the Persona series. I said, I've never played any of the Persona games. So... This will be my first one, but I keep hearing a lot about it. So, I mean, I was like, I might as well go ahead and check it out. So, and I told you I got me a new system. You may be wondering, what in the heck do I not have? I mean, I have an NES, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Dreamcast, 64, GameCube, Wii, Switch, PS1, PS2, PS3, PS4, Xbox 360. You might be thinking, what in the heck do I not have? I got most of the handhelds, 3DS, DS, PSP. Game Boy Advance, but I got I didn't feel like getting the box. I got a Wii U. You may be wondering why the heck did I get a Wii U? Well, because for one thing, I'm a video game collector, and number two, why not? I mean, there's a few games I wanted for the Wii U anyway, so I mean, I mean, I mean, I got one. It was only one hundred and sixty dollars, so. I mean, but yeah, I got a Wii U. And I got two games with the Wii U right now because, you know, I just got it and I only got a couple games off of it. And the first game I got was 
Hyrule Warriors. I like Dynasty Warriors, and Dynasty Warriors makes the Zeldas just a recipe for success. And based on a little bit I've seen on it, it looks really fun, so I'm definitely excited about playing this. And the other one I got is the main reason why I got the Wii right now, oh, as it is to begin with, because a lot of the people, a lot, a lot of people I watch stream like on YouTube, like Mike El Gamer, Snap Snap Cat, and people like that play this and all kind of stuff. And but it's a uh, Super Mario Maker, and um, people submit their levels and they play through them and all that kind of stuff. I haven't made a level yet, but I played a little bit of it. I played like through, through the normal, like the normal mode, um, experts been unlocked, all kind of stuff. But I'll be eventually making do my level. But I'm, I got an idea in my head, but I got to get a certain uh, character skin to uh, get it to uh, be able to make the level I want. So, and that's all the video game pickups I got for January 2018. And expect more coming. But right now I got a bunch of stuff to go through. But I mean, I'll be playing through a lot of them and expect more. Maybe February, March, but within the next month or two, expect another video game pickup video and expect all of this. But have a good day. I'll see y'all next time with the next pickup video. And that was all my pickups for January 2018. So have a good day.